Hello, it's Monday today. Today is Isabel's last day of college for the whole of level two, which is GCSE level. I can't believe it. It's flown by and I kind of feel like a sense of accomplishment that she's managed to get from the start of the year to the end because of the pandemic, you know, with all those in and out shenanigans online, in person, online, in person, oh, the public transport disaster with trains being cancelled and thinned out. And anyway, it's worked. She's done it. And today, She's getting her predicted grades. So her work has been assessed by college staff, but then it has to go out to an external assessor to get the official grade, so they could go up or down. So far, she's only had maths and English back, so she had an A for English, which we were absolutely delighted about, and a B for maths, which was the intermediate paper that goes up to a B. So absolutely delighted with those two. So now we're just waiting for the BTEC result, which is worth four GCSEs, so it'll be like an equivalent of six in total. And she only needs five Cs to go up to the next level on the course that she wants to do, so I think she'll be all right. The BTEC element was her absolute favorite that she's passionate about, so hopefully she's done okay. So I'm kind of just waiting for her to give me a ring to let me know what that is. At this point, I'm not sure how much vlogging I'm doing today because I need to have a bit of an admin day. I really want to set up and put loads of information for my books for this tax year because I haven't set it up yet and we're a couple of months into it already, so it's mostly expenses this year let's be honest but there is a bit coming in so I'm gonna yeah just get to grips with that really set it all up and then I'll feel more in control of life then in general and I've got a free day so that's what I'm going to spend it doing I've also been doing the usual laundry I was doing laundry late last night in fact I have to nip to the chemist at some point to pick up Isabel's prescription from the hospital the other day I wasn't vlogging because I was still dealing with the backlog of Isle of Wight footage I think or possibly the other things anyway I didn't vlog that day but last week she had a hospital appointment and she's got more stuff to get from the chemist and I've just been chatting to my dad on the phone for a little while as well because I didn't manage to catch up with him yesterday because he was just too busy <laughs> but he was not busy today so got hold of him I got hungry now excuse the noise of that <laughs> um, I'm doing one of my bits and bobs lunches because I'm just feeding myself so I don't have to worry about anybody saying Ugh, about my weird vegetable concoction this is what I've got Green peppers, tomatoes, celery, mushrooms, mm, and a tuna steak that was defrosted, which definitely needed using up. And I seasoned all this with lemon juice. For some reason, very uncharacteristically, a tiny bit of turmeric, just fancied it. Crushed chilli flakes, a clove of garlic, and some chopped ginger from Iceland. Here we are all served up. I've had a little nibble. It's intensely tasty and delicious. So I love that. And I couldn't quite resist putting a bit of mozzarella well, those slices, you know, I kind of ripped it up and chucked it on. Now I'm craving something sweet, so I'm going to have one of these lemon soya yogurts. These are Asda's own, they're in the free from chilled section. They're lemon flavour, these ones, and they are actually lemon flavoured as opposed to lemon themed, which I think you often find. These are quite sour, you know, they're sweet as well, but they you can taste the sourness of the lemon. Lunch has been had and enjoyed. Um, I definitely need to make coffee if I'm doing accounts. It's necessary. And while that is doing, I'm kind of thinking, where am I going to put this? I'm going to try and work out what's dry here and uh, make some space on the air for it, I think. Oh, I'm out of Alpro, but it's okay. I can use bicarb and normal soy milk. It'll be fine. It won't curdle. But I'm going to buy some anyway because I like the taste of it better. Anyway, I need to go to Tesco's at some point today when I've got all my homework done, making a little list. It's about 20 to 5 in the evening now. I have not heard from Izzy yet, but I have started my books, spent ages doing that, going through my expenditure very carefully and any little dribs and drabs of bits of money coming in, added it all up. So that's nice and set up now for the rest of the year. I did a kind of online survey thing that I had a letter through the post about, but it was 10 quid for 20 minutes. So I thought that was worth doing. So I did that and I'm now awaiting my 10 pound Amazon voucher. So a bit of something, isn't it? Um, I need to go to the chemist, get Isabel's prescription. That's what I'm going to do next. Hey, speaking of making dribs and drabs of money, just putting my shoes on, I've been offered some work this week. Well, two days of filing and it's for IB actually. <laughs> He's been desperate to get somebody in, but because of the coronavirus, he hasn't done it. So they've just been kind of managing in paperwork chaos, but there's only two days of work. So I'm going to go and do that for his company <laughs> and I won't need to mix with anybody because it's just where he lives anyway so it's fine 
I can be relatively isolated. So that's safe. I was really hoping gigs would start coming in this summer now. But nothing has. And uh, now we've got this Delta variant casting a shadow of doubt over the whole thing. So yeah, somebody was asking in the comments about work update the other day and well, I have no update. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm waiting at the chemist. Going down quick though, I think I can go in next. I've been to the chemist. Um, and I've just popped into the works because I want to see if they have any academic diaries in yet. Might be a bit early. My diary only goes up to the end of July and I've already got things I might want to start putting in, you know. I don't know if we've got any yet. What even is a bullet journal? Keep hearing about this. <laughs> I've been thinking I'd quite like to get another little address book because I want one for like things that I have to keep looking up all the time. I do have them written out in the back of my diary actually but I rewrite them by hand every year. I know I've got them online and in my phone but it's just a backup you know. I'm gonna go for that one it's only a pound. Can't see any academic diaries so I'll just have to come back in a few weeks I think. Okay they've got a load of puzzles in but I've got loads of puzzles to do. I haven't been doing them. So I've just been spending all my time editing instead of doing other stuff, so. What am I like? Just went and asked. I was right by them and didn't spot them. <laughs> They're all here. I'm gonna choose one, I think, and then go and pay. I'm back. This is what I ended up choosing. Just a simple address book with the alphabet on it, you know, because I just want to put in things like contacts for Izzy's college tutors, Bloods Clinic, Dermatology Direct, you know, just all those things that I look up repeatedly. I mean, I have them in my phone, as I've said, but they're the sorts of numbers I might want to bring up in an emergency, and I'm just like, I just like to have paper backup for important numbers, you know, just in case all the tech goes down, I lose my battery, I drop my phone in the drain or something, do you know what I mean? Anyway, so it'll make me happy to write those all in by hand. And for the diary, I chose this one. It just kind of looked cheerful, you know, a bit like me most of the time. Three pounds. I always go for the whole page option because I tend to write my tasks in, you know, my to-do lists and then tick them off. As I go, I've got a separate section for things to do, but I'm just going to ignore that and treat it like I normally do. One thing that really annoys me about these diaries is having half a page for Saturday and Sunday. I don't know why. Life doesn't stop at the weekend for me. Certainly, I don't just blob out all day. Just have as many tasks to do as I normally do, if not more sometimes. I decided not to go for the spiral bound one this year because I did last year and it's a right pain in the backside <laughs> trying to, you know, get it open and closed. It always catches. It's 20 past, my glasses are wonky. <laughs> I think it's from having the mask on and off. It's 25 past five. No, it's not, it's 20 past five. <laughs> oh, this clip is not going well. Uh, anyway, it's getting on. I'm all brain dead from staring at a computer screen for all the afternoon. Um, but that said, I've really got an urge to read and I'm hungry and low blood sugar so I'm going to rummage around in the cupboards and get some Bombay mix to eat, I think. And then I'm going to read a bit of my book for just 20 minutes or half an hour. Then I'm going to practice my flute in the cellar, which I'm not going to film. And then I've decided I'm going to walk to Asda instead of going to Tesco. It's further, but it will mean I get my walk in, you see. Ah, because it's quite a long walk there and back. And I haven't got too much to get, so I think I can trundle it all home in my trolley quite easily. Mmm, nom nom. That's the last of the Cherries Hall Bombay mix, that is. But never fear, because I had a sneaky trip to Home Bargains the other day when I wasn't filming <laughs> and got some more. Yummy! Ah, oh, this is the life. I've got my Bombay mix. Um, I decided there wasn't quite enough, so I topped it up out of the new packet. So now I've got to eat through the really nice, crunchy, fresh from the bag layer to get to the layer that's been open for. Ages. I still crunch it actually. Tastes completely different as well. Both nice but very different. Mmm. Bombay mix anyone? So I'm going to carry on with my book. Which I'm reading on my iPad. My old iPad too. It's the only thing I use it for really is reading books on the Kindle app at the moment because it's just so slow compared to my laptop. But anyway yeah I'm going to be very happy with this. Thank you. 
I was struggling to focus on it a bit, so I decided I needed to have a cola bottle ice lolly. I thought it might give me extra brain power for deciphering. Mm. Hello, it's about quarter past seven in the evening now. I had a very disrupted flute practice session. I think I did, I don't know, 40 minutes in the end, but it was a very good disruption because Izzy rang with her predicted grade from college. So the BTEC had seven modules and for each module she had distinctions. So she had seven distinctions. So I think I've been Googling and trying to work it out, but I think that's an equivalent of four GCSEs at A star, I think. She quizzed her teacher and asked for specific marks and she told her apparently that she got the highest mark that she could get for all seven things. So we're presuming that's what it is. So couldn't be happier with that. That's a very good result. <laughs> After all the stress of all the home education and everything and always worrying, you know, I was gonna wreck things. If you're a home ed parent, you know the relief when they do okay. <laughs> At the end of it all, so yeah, tremendously happy. She worked really, really hard in her year at college. Fair play to Izzy, she really did. Um, yeah, so that's good. It's provisional, mind, so it's been assessed by the college, assessors at the college, but it has to go out and be assessed externally. And I'm not sure how they're going to do that because a lot of the BTEC work is practical based rather than written. So anyway, fingers crossed it doesn't go down too much but even if it does go down a bit she'll still get onto the next level course which was what she was aiming for she was aiming for a minimum of five c's so she's more than done it so ah oh, it's a big important big milestone day for us really in this family yeah she's outdone me that's for sure i didn't do that well with my gcse's oh brilliant anyway i'm going to asda i'm going to walk oh that sky looks a bit gray i'm gonna walk with my trolley and i'll see you in the shop well, I'm not getting bananas then, and they're all gone apart from the bagged ones and they're green, so, and too many, there's seven. I think I'll leave bananas then. <laughs> mushrooms though, and lots of them. You know I like my mushrooms. Why is there always something in the trolley? <laughs> always, it was the other day as well in Iceland. Right, they look a bit squashed up there, don't they? I really don't need very much, but I do need El Pro Soya. And because I'm not buying much of anything, I'm gonna get three, I think. Or oh, is that my phone ringing? Do I wanna carry three? No, I'm just gonna get two actually, because I can get it locally. I just fancy the walk, you see. They haven't got the barista. Oh, well. And also, while I'm in this aisle, oh, they've got reduced things. I already went to uh, the green grocery, reduced to clear section first, and it was rubbish, there was nothing in there. What we got here, garlic mushrooms. I don't really like that sort of thing. There was some left in the freezer that I just kind of forced myself to eat. Nah, nothing there. Oh, was that goat's milk? I do like goat's milk, but I'm not gonna get it. Still rather have soya. Now then. Oh, so they got that Al Pro coconut, but it's gotta be the barista, I think, or barista, however you say it. That might be nice though. Mm, maybe, should I try it? Creamy and rich. How much is that? 110, I'm gonna give it a go. I think I might have had it before. No, I haven't, I haven't had the fresh one. I've had the long life. Let's see if there's any difference. Now this is the section that we get those soya yogurts that I was telling about and Izzy likes them. So I'm gonna get the strawberry because she can't eat the lemon. So it flares her skin up. This is the Alpro alternative, that's 150, but the Asda one, is a pound so a lot cheaper they look a comparable size actually mm. if anything the alpro ones look a bit smaller yeah much smaller that's 25p per 100 grams and that's 30p right i'll shut up now i've decided it wasn't on my shopping list but i'm gonna get some more veggie sausages the fresh ones they're just so much nicer than the frozen i think so i ate so many of these delicious richmond meat free ones that i kind of gone off them and you that said i haven't gone off them that much so i'm gonna get some <laughs> They keep pretty well. They'll have a long date. Oh, lovely. They're expensive, aren't they, really? But they are delicious. They're going in. I need some soy sauce. That's one of those things I can never find. Oh, my emo senses are tingling. Could be near here somewhere. Oh, oh, I think I see it. I see Kickermanish type branding. Right, this teriyaki. That wasn't what I had in mind. Ow, I just dropped my trolley on my foot. 
I'm trying not to put it in the trolley because of you know the pandemic it might freak people out but it's really awkward trying to perch it on there uh, but anyway there we are they've got little ones 248 it's expensive like that I like buying the litre bottles in the Chinese supermarkets for a fiver in Cardiff but um just get that it'll last me a while you got it oh is that my phone again blinking neck that was Izzy again but she had such bad signal I couldn't hear what she was saying but she's all right she's at my dad's she said she'll call me later um yes fueling my addiction to coffee again it's the decaf it is I drink more decaf than calf so I run out uh, I can't find my normal brand I usually get the tailors because it's cheapest the vast is expensive look four pound ten oh what am I gonna get normally when I look at the footage later I see really clear decaf but when I'm in the shop itself I never seem to see it oh Come on, Imo, don't be stingy, just get the Lavasa. If you were buying it from a cafe, it would be more than that for two cups. Okay, I convinced myself. I just didn't record a whole section. Never mind, I think the moment passed. Vimto, no added sugar, that's what we want. Well, I haven't filmed much. I'm in the frozen section now. They've been rocking out in this store to very loud copyrighted music. Ooh, might get myself a veggie ready meal to celebrate not stuffing up his he's homemade <laughs> meat free spaghetti bolognese i might there's only 150 vegan apparently yeah that'll be nice a little celebration for one at home with that what i'm actually looking for is frozen mushrooms and frozen things that i couldn't get in iceland in the frozen veg section oh uh, this is the frozen veg section the shy weddy shrewy in welsh look you see I was trying to tell the camera, but it was too copyright just now, uh, that we have it in Welsh and then in English. See, here in Wales, in case you didn't know. Oh yeah, they've got a much bigger section actually than they had in Iceland. There's the mushrooms, 140. I know I just bought a load of fresh, but I get through them, I eat them with every meal and I literally have a mushroom panic if I can't have mushrooms in my meals that's how much i love them ib is the same but with cheese i'm done in asda i got a bit exasperated with filming because my trolley kept falling off the trolley handle thingy and so i had to have that in one hand and the real trolley in the other hand and then the music was just it seemed to be getting louder and louder i think actually it was just getting generally quieter in the shop so it seemed louder but i just thought i'm gonna get a copyright strike but i'll show you the couple of bits that i didn't film getting when i get home <laughs> Hi, I'm back. I'm a sweaty Imo. Can you see the beads of perspiration on that head? I don't know, maybe you can't. Um, I forgot about how many hills there were. This is how many steps I did. Just, you know, quite a lot. <laughs> I'm going to put my shopping away now, but I will fish out and show you what you didn't see me buy. I'm microwaving that spaghetti thingy. I'm blooming starving now. I worked up quite a hunger. That'll be all that walking. Right. This is what I didn't show you. I got a broccoli, frozen smileys, Izzy still likes those, broad beans that are frozen, some fresh bassa fillets and spinach. And also, last of all, reduced to clear, and it's cloudy, see? £1.61, look for light olive oil. I don't mind giving it a little shake. I don't mind. Anyway, I am starving, can't wait for my food. And I'm gonna ring Izzy back. I haven't even started editing this yet, and it's, um. 10 past 9 at night, whoops, oh, I'll get done. I always manage it, <laughs> usually. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, do give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow and I really appreciate that. And if you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.